Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're over here at the radio station, and my uh, my tuner box is out of order. There, that's better. It's out of order because we had a storm and I had everything unplugged. But that's not why we're here today. Today we're here to talk about antennas and take a look at this: the Sark 100 antenna analyzer. I got this from Banggood, and I like to thank our friends at Banggood for sending this out to us free of charge for our consideration um, your antenna is the most important part of your setup it doesn't matter how many watts your radio puts out if you can't radiate an effective signal from your antenna you're not going to hear anyone and no one is going to hear you so we need to know how effective our antenna is and there's a lot of ways to do that but one of the things we want to make sure of is that we are matching the impedance of our antenna with the impedance of our radio all modern um, radios are going to be looking for a 50 ohm impedance now in my case this is the Yesu uh, FTDX 1200 radio, very nice radio, a couple years old, but you know, still a nice radio, and that's what it's looking for. And my antenna, I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of my antenna before. It is the Gap Challenger DX. It looks like a vertical antenna. It is a uh, actually a vertical, a phased vertical dipole. It's a very nice antenna, and it is a multi-band antenna. So I want to show you that, and we're going to hook up this little analyzer to it. Now there's plenty of analyzers out there and you know me I like the cheap stuff from China because I don't want to spend a lot of money. Now you can get the MFJ uh, what is it 259C analyzer for like about 300 bucks then there's the rig expert uh, AA400 AA600 a little bit more money or you can get yourself a vector network analyzer do it old school like an engineer but this guy right here will do you just about what you need to do. Now it's not going to tell you if your antenna is high enough or it's pointing in the right direction. It is simply going to tell you that your antenna is the proper length, has the proper impedance for the band you're on. Okay? But that's a lot of important information. So let's hook it up to uh, my antenna and we'll take a look at it. Hey guys, I'm going to start off by apologizing profusely for having to handhold the camera. My antenna only comes so far in from the window. So we have uh, 12 volts hooked up to this guy here and we'll power it on. Now hopefully All I see is white, so I'm assuming <laughs> that's all you guys see as well. Let me see if we can adjust the uh, picture. That's no bueno. There we go. Now you can see a little bit better what's going on. So at 14.100, which is just a little bit below the voice range for the... Uh, 20 meter band, we have an impedance of 2.24, I'm sorry, an SWR of 2.24, and an impedance of about 41 ohm. So let's take this up a little bit. So let's go to like say 14150, which is kind of the beginning of the phone band. And you can see our SWR is now 2.14, and our impedance is 36 ohms. Those are actually acceptable. Basically, if you, my personal opinion is if you can get an SWR under, say, 2.2, you're pretty well good to go. So if we move up here, let's go to the high end. 14350 is the high end. Here's 14300. And you can see now we've fallen into uh, an SWR of 1.85. All I'm using here are these two controls, the up and the down. Now to switch bands, we simply press here. Let's go to uh, 
80 meters. Okay, so here we are in the 80 meter band. And at 3.7, we are getting uh, 1.75 SWR and an impedance of 30. So let's go up to like uh, 3.9, where you're going to find a lot of the uh, nets. You can see our SWR 2.4, our impedance is still a little low. Now another thing we can do with this is we can scan. So let's go to the 40 meter band, my favorite band, and you can see our SWR is 1.35. Let's go up to uh, 7.18. You see we got S SWR of 1.35 and still a little bit of a low impedance. Now come down here you can see we have a scan button. So let's press that. And it's somehow scanning. Okay. It's going to go here through here and scan and tell us where our low points are. Press any key. So our, the bandwidth of this antenna is uh, 2.160 megahertz. I don't know why it scanned that band though, 30 meters. Here we are back in the 20 meter band. Let's try and scan 20 meters. So it's starting a little low there. Now we're in the 20 meter band. And it's going to tell us what our bandwidth is here. Well, it went way out of there. But anyway, our bandwidth was what? 10 kilohertz? Not much. So that's all well and good. And you know, you can as long as you've got a 12 volt power source that doesn't have a battery, you can take this out in the field with you. But what makes it really nice is that USB port there. So let's hook that up to the computer and take a look. All right, I apologize again for the handhold, but that's the only way I can make this work here. So we turn it on. All right, slowed it up. We press config and down. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Probably not at all. There you go. PC link waiting for link. USB cables hooked up into my laptop. All we got to do now is fire up the software. I'm running dual monitors here having trouble Let's bring it up here to the top monitor. There we go. I'm going to turn off the... There we go. Light off. So I am on COM10. We'll connect. And you can see we can do whatever band we want. Let's do the 20 meter band, 14 to 70 middle, scan width of uh, 1 kilohertz. Step size 10 kilohertz, and we'll start the scan. And it don't get much easier than that, does it, folks? If you look up here, you can see the little the legend, resistance, impedance, SWR. So our SWR. Clear down here at 13.8 on my antenna is 2.5, dropping down to an absolute low of uh, below 1.5. Yes, below 1.5 at 14.7, which of course is way out of band. But here at 14.3, uh, we're under two, so that's not too bad, right? Let me turn the light off again here. Let's say you're old school and you like Smith charts. We can grab a Smith chart here for let's do let's do the six meter band, 50 megahertz. Start scan. Oh, we ain't getting much love there. We're pretty much flat 
50 megahertz. Let's <laughs> let's pick a different band, perhaps. Let's do let's do the 40 meter band. Okay, now you can see the Smith chart starting to be drawn. And we're still looking pretty good. Let's, uh, let's look at this on uh, 20 meters one last time here. There's our Smith chart being drawn. We've got our data underneath of it. Anyway, this software is called... WinPCC SAV1.0.01. English. Pretty neat software. It's free. I'll put a link to where you can get it down below. Alright, so here it is. Like I said, this device is really quite heavy and hefty. And it does have an area here for a battery. However, they do not provide any specifics other than you need a 12 volt battery and I don't know if any 12 volt batteries that are going to fit into a 5 inch by 2.5 inch cavity. You get some double A's in there maybe but you'd have trouble with the holder. Okay. I don't know how well this is going to come apart because the SO239 connector on there. That may present us with a difficulty. And I, again, I apologize for the crudeness of the software. Um, I'm not familiar with it. And I didn't buy this to work with the software. I just wanted to show you guys that the software is available if that's something you want to play with. I bought this to take out in the field when I throw a long wire antenna up over a tree. Or say you're putting up a dipole and you want to make sure you got it trimmed right. That's where a device like this is going to excel. I have no idea what we'll find in here. It may run entirely on low main for all I know. Okay. There we are. All right, let's take a better look at this. Let me reposition the camera. Okay. Let's take a look in here. There's our SO239 connector. We've got a bunch of passives in here. And here's our first chip. This is um, the heck is it? A 78M12, just a voltage regulator. And then we have down here, this is our CH340. It's right by our USB, so that's our USB driver. Over here we have an AD9851 next to this 30 megahertz clock. That's our DDS generator. And this guy right here is the CYC29466. That is the Cypress system on a chip. And really guys, that's all there is to it. I mean, we got a few diodes, we got a few passes. That's it. A really really simple device can't beat it here is the uh, PC board top component Sark 100 this is revision 0C 0Z-10 let's find out uh, how low of a voltage that processor will operate at Sounds like a fun little experiment, right? Ground. 
There's our power. That's, that's the Pittsburgh way to say power. Power. Like former coach Bill Cowher. Cowher. Or former president Dwight D. Eisenhower. Eisenhower. This up in the air a little bit. So we get most of the light out. Alright, I'm going to... Here, why don't I just show you? Okay, our voltage is set for 5 volts. Power on. Will she fire up at 5 volts? Well, we get a light, but nothing. Okay, voltage up to 6 volts. No. Seven volts. Ah, look at that. Seven volts. So, that makes my tiny little brain think. What is a uh, two cell lithium polymer battery? 7.2. So there she is at 7.2 volts. Not bad at all. Let's see if she's uh, still working at that. Let me grab a uh, something to test it with. One moment, please. Okay, here's the item on Banggood's webpage. And I'll put a link to it down below. The Sark 101 to 60 megahertz antenna SWR analyzer meter tester for ham radio hobbyists. List price of... $88.13 US. You get a look at it. You can read about some of the features there. Anyway, I am going to order a two cell LiPo and see if we can't uh, come up with it and get it to work like that. I think it will. We'll find out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video on the Sark 100. Yeah, I think it's a neat little antenna analyzer. It's less than a hundred bucks, so you know that's about a third of what you can get one for from the big names. Like I said, it's made out of metal. You put this in a sock, you could do some damage in case any ruffians invade your uh, field day site. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.